today's Buster variant is the Fane. The Fane is a creature consisting of a coalition mist. While from its upper torso it resembles a shadow like humanoid, its lower half is similar to that of a panther. Its coalescing mist ripples around it as if it can barely hold its form together. Native to the Astral Sea, they use their ability to manipulate time to sow the seeds of chaos across the cosmos. Ooh, this is really cool. So, um, I added some other lore bits that you can feed to your players if you want, but most of that's just caught kind of in the, the description there. Um, so, uh, Christian, you're, uh, if you're new to the show or anybody that's joining us for the first time, for our monster variant, we basically take an original stat block from the monster's manual and we make a few alterations and we do our best to keep it within the same, uh, CR. Sometimes mm -hmm. it bumps up or goes down a little bit, but we're really trying to trade... Uh, change the stat block to give you something new and juicy. So, for in case for this to work, uh, Ian, which features do we have to remove from the death slad? Well, you, you gotta lose telepathy, shape changing, regeneration, bite, the great sword, and its current spell list. Pretty much everything that makes it a death <laughs> slad at this point. You just keep the numbers. At yeah, that the point. numbers <laughs> at that point are all that we need. And this is the reason we like to do this is because. It can be difficult and time-consuming to figure out the exact balancing of monsters. Mm -hmm. Why do that when it's already been tested stat-wise? So, yeah, yeah um, that's one of the biggest lessons I've learned as a DM is just use existing monster stat blocks and kind of build from them. Absolutely. So you're going to give it a new spell list. It's going to, for at will cantrips. You're going to give it blade war you're, or at will. I can't say cantrips cause they're not all cantrips for at will. You're going to give them blade ward ray of sickness and true strike. That's right. I said it. True strike. No one uses true strike. When you have legend, <laughs> legendary actions, it's not as crappy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're going to give it two a day each because it's a bender and twister of time. You're going to pick up haste, ray of enfeeblement, and slow. All of these are great ways to represent um, them either aging the character or, or, or um, to slow them down or just altering the sense of time around them. And then once a day, you're going to let them do cloud kill. And most importantly, plane shift because we got to get out of dodge sometimes. <laughs> I'm out, suckers. <laughs> um, so a few other changes that you'll get is you're going to change the claws to temporal touch. And you're, instead of like the poison or whatever it does, it's going to do a con save and half of its, it's going to lose half of its movement um, and can't take reactions until the end of the next turn. So once again, you're really touching on that slowing effect. Um, mm -hmm. They're moving slower. They're sluggish. The fact they can't take reactions means it can dart in between different players without having to feel the suffering wrath of a smite or some shit like that. Actually, they can't smite on their uh, uh, reaction, can they? Paladins can no. smite on a reaction. Um, they, can they? I, yeah, they can. It's say, not an action. Yeah. yeah. He shall not be sm smitten. Sm smited? Smitten? Yeah, whatever. Um, and then, uh, in addition to that, you're going to give it three legendary actions, choosing from one of the options below. Um, if you don't know, legendary actions happen at the end of an opponent's turn. You can give him temporal touch, which basically allows him to slow enemies uh, and get around, I thought. And then he can also, for two action points, um, he can actually cast a list from his prepared spells as normal. Now, this is where the true strike really comes into play. You cast true strike at the end of the turn when you're out of the big spells, right? Because they're very limited. And now he has advantage on the next ray of sickness or whatever attack you manage to do, which once again can be flavored as him slowing the time around the enemies or speeding himself up. Either way, granting quote unquote advantage with true strike can be the, 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 the mechanic for it of the flavor that you're giving it of him fading in and out and moving through time and stuff. Um, what do you think about that, Christian? Uh, I, I like this uh, creature a lot. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to use it here um, <laughs> in, in one of my campaigns. Uh, uh, I, I, I really, uh, the temporal touch is, is great for me um, just because, um, you know, some of its effectiveness is, you know, I, I feel like this would be most effective with multiple creatures in play. Oh, for like, sure. Like, you know, one of them isn't going to, you know, being able to have uh, movement speed and can't take reactions isn't going to really 
affected if the, your party's only attacking one of these creatures, but Absolutely. two or three of these guys, uh, yeah, this could be a world of hurt for them. Oh, and it was so much fun. Once again, uh, I like to introduce mechanics that exist already because I'm not a master monster developer, but mm -hmm. altering stuff that already exists I can do pretty well. And something like this is fun because... You don't have to reveal that their spells or feature what they are. You can just describe it through the lens of mm -hmm. the perception of the character, which I think yep. makes it so much more terrifying. When you describe him swiping at you and everything around him, be you begins to slow down. Your steps in body begin to feel sluggish, and your enemy is dashing and darting around quicker than you would expect for his size or some BS like that. So much fun. Mm-hmm. Plus, players hate slow and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One action? Are you nuts? <laughs> Unless you're a warlock who casts Eldritch Blast anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Cast Eldritch Blast. <laughs> um, anything else on this there, Ian? Nope. All right. Well, that'll do it for our monster variant, The Fane.